following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to uh, Dell in Texas. Hey, Dell, what's going on? Hey, Tom. How Thanks you doing, man? Call. Great. Thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. Appreciate it. I love your show. I just stumbled upon it probably, I don't know, maybe a month ago. And how did you find us? I found you on YouTube. YouTube. That's a beautiful thing. Well, we appreciate you growling and prowling with us. Welcome to the Tiger family, man. Wow. Wow. I like it. Totally. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. It's a special one. Kick off the great 4th of July. Make it a safe one out there. Create the perfect relationship. Sorry about this, folks. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your body with all love, honor, gratitude, and respect. When you make it a goal to adore your body and accept yourself completely, you'll learn to have the perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 35, NASDAQ up 22, S&P's up 6. Gold contract up $21.50, traded 1,342 an ounce. Silver up a buck 18, talk about catching a bid eight, at $19.81 uh, ounce. Platinum up 34 bucks at 1,058 an ounce. Copper up two and a half pennies at 2.22 a pound. Light sweet crude up 69 cents, $49.02 a barrel. Bonds, the 10 year note up 9.6, 133.08. 30-year bond up 1.246, 174.03. King dollar, king dollar down 413 ticks at 95.77. You got the euro trading at $1.11, and the yen is trading at 102.58. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, we get the SPY trading up 58 cents. You have 71 million shares traded. You're at $210.05. You hit today $210.49. Uh, it would have been actually pretty cool if it got to the $2, $210.84. Um, what do you have out here? Okay, so volume's anemic. You're going against the swing point, and you're going against the swing point with 71 million shares versus 331. My take, the sell is right now. Now, the S&P, the SPY hasn't really failed yet, okay? Because you need a, first you need, you need a test on the $210.84, or you need to close today under $209.54. So we'll see if that lays out. Bottom line, that's your SPY. NDX 100, what do you have with the N NQs? NQs, you're up 65 cents. You've done 16 million shares. The, we're at $108.19. Uh, this reached $108.48. This also would have been sweet if we got to $108.79 because then you would have had the test. Uh, it would have to close under the $107.61. Bottom line, my take, NDX 100, this is over here. In NDX, QQQ, SPY, they want to go back down to the lows that were generated last Monday. Gold contract, what do we have with gold? Gold contract is up 21 bucks right now. You have about 200,000 contracts traded. Uh, we're at, uh, the number to watch for gold here, so the pit closed, uh, and we did close under the 1340 pit closing. Bottom line, the as we come into the close here, if in fact we do, we're at 1342, we're, the 1342 is a crucial number. The reason being is that that was the day, that was Monday after last Friday. Last Friday, we went topside and went topside with 574,000 contracts. Monday, you went topside to 1340, you did 258,000. Right now, we're not 194. So 
that's only two dollars down you know we'll see whether this can hold that price because if it can hold the price you guess what you can get right up to that high once again you can't hold the price that would be saying you're going to be backing down if you do look at the equities the gold and silver equities bottom line is that they need more price they need more volume as they're going higher at this particular point the push is on though there's no two ways about it now silver check this out man this is a trip um silver this is the third day in a row that it's caught a bid where the divergence comes in is that the silver equities you know have done great i mean some of them up at three or four hundred percent uh they're not following this move here though which you know bottom line if you in that market you better be concerned about it because it makes a difference so we just went in two days from $17.58 to 19.80. Now, longer term, this wants to go to 20 bucks. Bottom line, um, we'll see why the silver equities uh, are not following this baby up and, and breaking out in a huge way. Bonds, we go over to the bond market, we take a look at bonds, this is what we have with bonds. Uh, bond market out here today did this. So this is pretty cool how this thing shook out, folks. When you have monster volume, the first time up, particularly the type of volume that we had last Friday, you're not gonna break it with volume. Bond market out here today, the 10 year we did 1.2 million contracts. It was going into 3.1 million contracts. We made it up to 133.29. We closed at 133.08. Bottom line, that's a failure in price and volume. And in particular, it's a failure in price and volume because of the fact that it closed under just about this whole week's trading. So what I expect you're gonna see with the 10 year, 10 year wants to back down again, you know, we'll see, and you're gonna get more information out of the back down on this 10 year, because the, the failure is expected when you have something as high and the amount of volume that we have. You never can go up with volume all, you know, and go down with, it, it can keep increasing. Mathematically, it's almost, a, well, it's not impossible, but it might as well be. The 30 year, we take a look at the 30 year. What do we have with the 30 year? 30 year, got over its high, and let's see where we are right now. This is gonna get intriguing. So the 30 year, we're at 174.06. Now, the 30 year is actually over its high, okay? So the 30 year did not fail. It's been under its high during the day, but right now, guess what? It would have to close under 173.25, or 174.05. Uh, we've done light of volume, but you don't close underneath that. That's saying that 30 year can go to higher price. King dollar. What do we have with King dollar? <coughs> Excuse me, folks. King dollar out here um, rejected lower price again today, had light of volume. So the, the take on King dollar, we're at 95.76. King dollar looks like it still wants to run up into this 98.50. And I have no idea what's going to try to make it run up to that area. You know, if you're a bull in the dollar, you know, bottom line is that you've got a little ammunition out here today. You know, I, I, my take is that, yeah, it's going to run up to there and probably fail as we get up to that level. But what we did yesterday is that yesterday you got down to 95.52. You had light of volume, rejected it. Today we got to a lower low, light of volume again, rejected it. That's saying that somehow, some way, King Dollar wants to go higher. And then that correlation fits with the 10 year. It doesn't fit with the 30 year right now, but it fits with the 10 year, meaning bonds backing up, King Dollar going higher. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow Industrials right now up 37. Nasdaq's up 23. S&Ps are up six. We're going to be right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now up 35. We've got the Nasdaq up 22. S&Ps are up six and a half. Let's go to uh, Mark in Fort Collins. Hey, Mark, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. How's it going today? Going great, man. Yourself? Good. Happy almost fourth weekend. I know. It's a beautiful thing, man. Totally. Yeah. Let's make it a great one. Yeah. Hey, um, so I'm trying to figure out where this TLT is going to top out because I'm looking to get into the TBT, but, man, I just... It's like an Energizer bunny, and it's surprising with the market being strong. It usually works counterintuitively to the or counter to the market. So. It does. It does. So I'm trying to figure out what in the world's happening here. So let's take a look, folks. This is the TLT. The TLT is the 20-year plus bond fund. So that's the bullish position. But Mark Sandy wants to get into the TBT, which is the negative position, uh, the times two, two times yeah. two times uh, inverse correlation. Um, you know, so. What you have with this? Out the moves, yeah. I couldn't figure out the, the ABC up on this thing. It looks like we were pretty close, but let me know what you think. Well, what you have is this. Now, this is where this gets really wild. I mean, you are over the 138, and you're over it with volume. And if you want something longer term, well, this will really blow our minds, folks. So check this out. So let me pull this back a little bit more, because this is like crazy when you look at this thing. Meaning, how much further bonds can go, folks? and rates go down. So technically, if you look at this at 138.50, right, you can take the bottom of that, which is 114. So what's that? Uh, that's uh, 15. That's, uh, oh my God, that's 15. That's 23 on top of 38. 38 to 48, 58, that's 61. <laughs> right, it's never, never even been close. I mean, we're at all time highs now. Right, and, uh, and if if I do, so I, I even look, I even kind of drew out some channels on a monthly, going all the way back to like 2004ish. Okay, and so I took the bottoms and I took the tops, and we're really close to the top. The top, I think maybe 140, 142ish, um, get you to the top of this current channel, and uh, I mean we're right there. I just. I just can't see it going a lot farther. We're, we're, we're over the Bollinger Band on the weekly, monthly, daily. Um, everything's just kind of maxed out, but I'm just trying to figure it all out. Well, if you, if you, I think if you. Uh, maybe you're doing, so I went all the way back. Let's see, my first touch point on the tops is way back on 12-1 uh, of 2008. Yeah, I just took 2,000. If you take two, let me pull this all the way back. So what we're trying to do here, folks, 
That you know, I, I what I would say, Mark, and <laughs> and I have gone I, out of the last five, maybe six years. Okay, I went shot in the bond market twice, right? Okay. And you know, there was quite a few years in between it. And you know, bottom line, I lost both times. And you know, um, this thing wants higher price, man. You know, okay. and so you're you know, going all the way back to like yeah, I just and I st even just bringing it back to 2001, I was still getting 145 out of it. Okay, yeah. See, I just did that. I did the touch point. The first, my first touch point was in um, 08, end of 08. So I used that very peak up there, and I just drew them all the way through the peak. See, what we so didn't that, have, what we did, okay, so earlier in the day, when uh, when we were doing the show this morning, my son, I, and Daryl, right? When we were doing the show this morning, folks, what you had was this, is that you had the 30 and the 10 fail, okay? So what I would wait for, you know, just for a trade, okay, is that if the 30 had failed today, too, okay, then, yeah, I would say that, okay, you're going to get that pullback, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Um, and... What does happen, folks, is this. It's absolutely counterintuitive um, that bonds are going up and the market's going up. I mean, my take is that this is the end of this counter-trend bounce anyway, okay? So even thinking of that, this is really wild. I, I was selling the market today, okay? Now, as I'm selling the market, I'm saying to myself, man, this is going to be really weird because bonds are failing today. So if bonds want to pull back, that means the market can go higher, okay? <laughs> you know, so there's a lot of divergence out here right now. And right. what you also have here, which is really unusual, is that the volatility today inside the bond market, inside the currency market was there, which is, you don't get that on a Friday in the summer, particularly going into, right. you know, uh, a long weekend. But we got it. So that means right, that talk. even Sunday yeah. night, folks, and Monday, uh, I suspect it's still going to be volatile, you know. So. Right, but it's interesting the VIX has fallen through the floor. It's down 6% today again um, just for the market type uh, volatility indexes. So that's interesting as well. Looks well, like no, that, that makes sense, okay. Uh, yeah. You know, the, the VIX is just predicated on complacency. And, line. you know, this market's right. been complacent the whole time anyway. You know what I mean? So. Right, well, there's, yeah. I mean, it doesn't mean there's not a lot of people jumping in on puts right now, right? It, it doesn't mean that's correct. What it means is that the, the, what happens inside the VIX, folks, is that the premium is not going up. So the, the amount of buying and selling of calls and puts would be even, would actually be lopsided to calls when, right. the, when the VIX is going down like that. So it's, right. it, it's saying that the market is complacent. I mean, right. you know, the, the market's been complacent for five years. Yeah, that's the reality, you know. And every time, of course, that the market comes back this quick, right. any bull, you get more complacent. There's no reason not to, you know, because, right. you know, at the end of the quarter, you know, the, if you didn't look at the market, you know, folks, day to day, watch this. If I put this up on a quarterly chart, uh, bottom line is that, you know, the market didn't do anything last quarter. <laughs> right. You know, you know, we, we've been, if you look at watching Tiger TV, I get this in a quarterly chart right now. We've been in the same place for two years. Right. Exact same place, you know? And that's at the highs. It's not like we haven't been at the highs. We're at the quarter by quarter. If you only looked at your statement quarter by quarter and you only had the spy in your statement, you'd still be at highs, you know? Now, underlying that, there's, there's, there's been destruction in the marketplace, you know? Yeah, but, people have been conditioned to buy the dips for a really long time now, so it's going to be interesting when that doesn't work anymore. Well, they've been conditioned to buy the dips, and they've yeah. won buying the dips. <laughs> right, exactly. You know, there's, there's, no, there's no doubt about that. So, you know, un until it doesn't work, it works. Hey, hey, do you have a chance to look at one more thing for me? I'm yeah. on some, um, some U.S. Steel X calls, um, and it's, uh, it looks to me like it's going to try and do a ABC up and test the highs in the... 1920 range if it can break out. Yeah, this is a nice setup, man. Okay, so let's take a look at U.S. Steel. It's trading at 1837. Um, you know, now what's cool about this, folks, is when you get a downdraft and, you know, you get an equity that doesn't go down with velocity like the market did, which this didn't. It didn't even break a swing point on the way down, okay? You had gone from $18.71 and you went down to $14.80, but didn't have the juice. The swing point was much lower down at $12.77. And now what you have, you caught a bit again. You know, you're going into the swing point with volume. So let me pull this back just a bit. 
Yeah, that's a nice setup. You know, I mean, the, the real question here is going to be uh, when it breaks, uh, you know, first it's going to go to the 1977. If it breaks it with volume, you're going to have uh, action up to that uh, $24 level going from January 30th. So low of that's 20 and the high is 24, man. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It looks like it's it's kind of broken a it's broken through a kind of a downtrend line from uh it did from back in uh, 2014. So. Yeah, which is which is awesome. Right. Yeah. Okay. And it breaks All it with right. conviction. Yeah. Those downtrend lines, folks, it, it, I'll set it up for you right now. This is when you break a downtrend and you break it with conviction, you can see it, man, it's wide price spread, accelerated volume, all of it. That's a, that's a big setup, man. Cooking, brother. All right, thanks, man. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Dow Industrials right now are up 33. You get the Nasdaq up 21. S&Ps are up 6. We're going to be right back. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Today, many commodities are trading at relative lows. And now you can take advantage with EverBank's new limited-time, five-year, market-safe currency comeback CD. This indexed and U.S. dollar-denominated CD offers 100% principal protection and is based on the equally weighted performance of currencies of Australia, Canada, Chile, Mexico, and South Africa. These five countries are especially rich in commodities, and the respective currencies are poised to do well should commodity prices begin to recover. Keep in mind that no APY, or periodic rate of interest, is paid on the CD. Don't miss out on this innovative new financial opportunity. CDs must be opened and funded by the upcoming July 14th deadline. To apply online and learn more about the CD, including product terms and disclosures, visit everbank.com forward slash TFNN now. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a member FDIC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow is up uh, 31. Nasdaq's up 21. S&Ps are up 5. Let's go to Mark in Concord, Mass. Hey, Mark, what's going on, brother? Not much, Tommy. How are you? Doing great, man. Yourself? Oh, uh, getting ready for the fourth. Getting ready for that big firework show. That's a beautiful thing, man. Totally. Yeah. Tom, uh, I'm curious to know uh, your take on next week. I, if I understand you right, you think Tuesday will be kind of a neutral day? then maybe all hell will break loose on Wednesday and Thursday? It doesn't, I don't expect all hell to break loose. I, my take is that, though, the highs are here. They're in. That's it. 
You know, like when I say the highs are in. Okay, so the spy is at 210. Can it can it go hit the the high of uh, the downdraft, which is a uh, you know 20 cents, uh, well 60 cents high a yard, Ken. But that's it. This is not you know. So. Well, the, re the reason why I asked is I heard Basil the other day on his show, or not if he was maybe on your show, I don't remember, but he was talking to something about a Fast and Furious come down, implying the second half of next week. And I, I forget what show I, he said it on, otherwise I'd, I'd go back and re-listen to it in the archives. But, you know, you sometimes talk about a Fast and Furious um, downward pressure that it comes down fast and furious harder and uh, coming down harder than going up. And I'm wondering, putting that together with what he said, you know, could we have a lot of action on the downside, you know, Wednesday or Thursday next week? I, and like, and my, my thinking. The last time that I interviewed Basil, my understanding is that he was thinking it was going to go higher. So I, I don't. I don't. Oh, then maybe I'm wrong. Then maybe I'm wrong. Then maybe I'm wrong. Okay, but I need to go back and listen to some of his archives then. That's that's fun for the weekend. That's that's a beautiful thing that we have the TFNN archives. We can go back and listen to everyone. There you go, man. Yeah. Hey. So so what are you guys doing on the fourth? We are gonna go do some surfing. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that's right. I thought you'd be out. I thought you will you'll be out. Thank you, Larry Pesavetos, for coming that boat of yours. Yeah, Larry's, Larry's got a boat ride coming. There's no doubt about that, man. And what that's all <laughs> about, folks, is that Larry and I had a little gentleman's bet that where the bonds were going to go. And <laughs> unfortunately for Larry, they went there. He's going to have a blast in the boat anyway. Last, last time we got him out, him, his wife got him on the boat. He, he, he likes it once he gets on. He's all set. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he's a pretty much of a steady cat in that boat. You listen to him. He's talking about how he... Uh, he's funny. He's, he's very much of a... Yeah, he's, 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 he's fine on the boat. He, he's, he's just joking with most of you. But, he, he, you know, we got him on it. That's the bottom line. Yeah. Cooking, brother. All right, Tommy. Well, listen, you, you, you have a good fourth. Please don't drink and drive, and uh, we'll talk to you next, next time. Okay, Take man. Care. Have, have a, a great fourth. one. Have a safe one. Let's go to uh, Kevin in California. Hey, Kevin, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Doing well. Looking cool. forward to a long weekend. That's a beautiful thing. Totally. Hey, quick question here. Um, can you pull up a weekly of Pan American Silver? Let's take a look. You get PAAS. Uh, this is a uh, large uh, silver company. does business in uh, uh, Mexico, Peru, Argentina, Bolivia, all of the above. Um, we take a look at this, put it on the weekly. Okay, I got it. Yeah, I mean, you were talking earlier about uh, about some of the silver stocks not really confirming the, the the move in silver today, and and I know what you're saying that, that there there are certainly some that aren't. I just wonder what your take is on this. It looks to me like a, you know it broke out the re, the, the from the previous or brought over the previous swing high and uh, from the and a weekly it does that. No, there it absolutely has the volume. And, and they're large ABC ups, okay? So you get the A point on this on a weekly, folks, is $5.38. The B is $16.50, so you get, the, you know, uh, $11. Uh, 13 is the C, so it's, that's a $24, you know, target, right? Yeah. Um, and this is, this, is, this is where it's going to be wild for myself and everyone, I'm sure, okay? But I'm, you know, in this market pretty heavily. Um, as to how this shakes out, because this is what we have, folks, if you're in the metal market. You have the XAU and the HUI with confirmed ABC structures on the way up. You have the uh, H, they're, they're both monster ABCs, too, okay? What has happened, and so a longer-term basis, that's where we're going. What the divergence is out here right now is this, is that PAAS, yes, that that one there, okay, it's over, it's over with volume. Now, I happen to go through, you know, I got about 28 stocks in the gold report, right? A lot of them, they need more volume. So my take right now is that this is going to turn into a complex ABC again. We've already, the, the, the larger issue, we've, we've done two complex ABCs, folks. And what a complex ABC is this, is that you take the swing point out, you take it out with volume, everything's cool. Then you get back under the swing point again. You take it out with volume again, everything's cool, you get back under the swing point again. You know, so we'll see how it shakes out, man. Um, 
that's that's where my head's going though that's where my head is right now and believe me you know it's um it's a it's a tough analyst uh, at this particular point and i i the way it looks to me is that the dollar looks like it wants higher price and i suspect if that's the case then somehow this contract's going to pull back but you know we'll see yeah, well, you know, it's funny. As you were talking here, I just put up, uh, well, I had the weekly chart up. I drew a trend line back from, uh, oh, where is this? Uh, February of uh, 2014. And, you know, it's got a kind of nice little cup and handle pattern going. And then uh, the next point is not a few, few months away, 7 of 2014. And we are tipping that trend line right now. You can probably see it on a weekly. That we we just hit it. We just ticked up into it this week. And right. and what we'll also have this is you know if you if, if you're just tuning in of you you're not in the metals market, folks. The stocks that you know we have are you know there's a few of them that are up four or five hundred percent. So I can understand why the equities would not be following the silver market right now. Okay, um, you know and understand that co correlation, but. Even with that said, when you get a monster break topside, which we have, and those equities don't follow it, that's a heads up to me. Like, okay, man, what the heck's yeah. going on here? So, yeah, well, that, that trend line comment just kind of confirms what you you said. I mean, I was just looking at the at the structure of of you know a potential ABCF there, and it looks like you know we could be in for some consolidation here, just based on you know how we just ticked that that you know now two year trend line. Let me pull this back. So we're still on PAS. Let me let me pull this back just for a second. So if we put this, yeah, you see, you know, it's uh, hey, listen, I, it's it's a it's a tough call here, man. You know, that's you know, PAS is pushing with volume. So I mean, this thing can hit twenty-two bucks in a heartbeat, man, because that's that's the next, and that's how most of them are, folks. Most of them want to go to this next swing point, you know, and we'll find out whether it just goes. Non-stop. And it might. You know, it very, they very well might. You know, so. yeah, we'll see. Well, hey, thanks for your help. Uh, have a good one over the 4th, and uh, um, I'll talk to you soon. That's a beautiful thing, man. Have a Thank great you. one, man. Have a safe one. Uh, as we come into this close out here with, uh, you know, the uh, Dow Industrials. Let's go over to the Dow, because I think the Dow got up to the top. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. The... Uh, it did. That's a beautiful thing. Now, so check this out. This is going to be cool watching the Dow into the close here because the Dow, 946. Oh, this is awesome. So, 17,946. This will be getting really deviant. If it closes underneath that, that's a failure in the Dow. We're going to be right back, folks. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now you can get a two week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund is currently offering four-year first mortgages on many of the fully renovated properties that it has purchased. The first mortgages are third-party appraised with a maximum loan-to-value ratio of 70%, providing a secured investment that pays a fixed return of 5% annually, which works out to a monthly income of more than $416 per $100,000 investment with your principal intact and secured. These four-year first mortgages are perfect for anyone looking for a secured investment that provides monthly income much like a CD. 
For more information, email tigerfund at tfnn.com or click on the Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund banner along the right side of the tfnn.com homepage or call our office directly at 877-518-9190. There's a limited supply, so act now. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow is up by uh, 24, Nasdaq's up by uh, 19, SPs are up five. Let's go to Scott in Louisiana. Hey, Scott, what's going on? Hey, Tom, not much, not much. How you doing, man? Pretty good, pretty good. good. Uh, I'm looking at uh, PLM. I've been holding that. I bought it at a buck forty-four years ago, and I kind of thought it's like DOA. It hasn't moved at all, and I'm wondering if I should just punt and uh, go to something else, or uh, hold on and, and hope for the best. Okay, so, so well, I guess it. it, it I guess you missed it in March. I mean, it, it it went from what? It went from sixty cents to a buck twenty-eight in March, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah I no, I, I understand it. what you're saying. When you're having a long time, you probably didn't see it because it's only three days, folks. So I get it. Well, I get it. Okay. So you're at 78 cents. Um, okay, so let's see. This is uh, companies mining in Minnesota. Platinum, palladium, gold, silver. No, gold, nickel. They take something out of the ground. Oh, they still don't take anything out of the ground. Okay, I got it. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, you know, what you could do here is just the way that this traded in March, I don't know what happened in March, you know, but, you know, it was at 70 cents January. It went up to a $1.28. You might want to wait for a test of like 112 to 128 because that can test it again. Yeah, it just seems, you know, with all the positive movement up of uh, gold and silver, that this thing just really isn't moving at all. And I'm, you know, getting frustrated. I thought the same thing. And I thought, you know, when it went up to a buck twenty-eight, that we were going to get a little bit more off of that. I Again, see. I'm at my break even is 144. So, um, I see. So, but so something that you, you want to do, and, and folks, everyone should do this, okay? This is important. That, that move there, you know, was a 100% move. You know, uh, and I know, you know, if you're talking pennies, a dollar seventy to, you know, like a hundred dollar twenty eight. But if you keep it in percentages, it'll help you out more than yeah. thinking about, you know, we all have what we have now. We don't have what we bought something at. So that's that's hard to get your head wrapped around. But that's what you have. So, yeah. Yeah. And this uh, is what this is different because what you have, this is not a production company. You know, they don't they don't take any money, you know, so this is all a speculative huge deal. I mean, they, they do not take in any money, you know, so this is predicated on where the, the price of palladium and platinum would go. And it would also be correlated to the price of, OK, are they going to get this mine open or not? I, I, I don't know, you know, enough about this equity. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, it looked like they got some environmental stuff um, done in April, and it looked like they were going to start producing. That, that's what it looked like to me. And uh, I see. Like yep. I said, I, 
I thought I, I thought they were going somewhere, and I, it did really. I got into this in 2011, okay. and it just sort of when gold cooled down, I just sort of walked away from a lot of this, and I came back. Things started coming back, yeah, you know, yeah. in January, no, no, I know. <laughs> and I figured, well, you know, with the taxes and all that, if if I could get something with this, why get into another one when I'm already in at that point? And, you yeah. Know, but anyway. So when you put this on a a longer term basis, you know, I, listen, man. Uh, Because you still have a 156 high volume high, you know. So yeah, yeah. Hey, but it's done nothing in like the last month, and uh, it's just weird that it's with, with all these moves. But I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. So if you can, if you can, if you swap it out, you just gotta make sure that you're gonna swap it out for something that probably is a producer. I wouldn't go from. Uh, a non-producer to another non-producer. I wouldn't go from an exploration company to another exploration company because the exploration companies move together, the producers move together. And what happens with the exploration companies, folks, is this, is that, see, we're right at the point right now with a lot of exploration companies with gold trading $13.45, silver $19.80, that they are going to be very profitable. So it's the reserves that are in the ground that all of a sudden can be worth a lot more money. Now, in case with PLM, that is predicated on the platinum price, and the platinum price and palladium price have been down pretty dramatically. You know, it's, it's very unusual. We're going on almost two, two and a half years, folks, that the platinum price is below the gold price, which prior to this, I think the longest time that ever happened was maybe a year, you know, because platinum is a much harder uh, metal to get out of the ground. Okay. You know? All right. Have a great well, one, man. You. Uh, you too. Have a safe one. And, you know, there's, uh, there's another question is that why is uh, Great Panther so far off the highs with silver at the highs? And let's go look at it. So the, the, these are, that, that, see, that, this is the way I'm looking at this market right now. It's the same with like, Great Panther. Great Panther's a great company, man. I mean, it's trading at $1.72. And, well, guess what? It's like it's not moving. So that's telling me that, okay, everything is not quite right <laughs> in my little you know, metal camp right now, because, you know, it has, it, it has the volume up at 225. So yeah, it wants to go there. Great Panther itself has volume up at 355 to five bucks. So it's like, oh, I like that too. And it's like, it's not moving. So that's, you know, a correlation that uh, concerns me at this point. If I go over to First Majestic, which is a great stock, okay, now that's up a buck. I'm 24 today, $14.82. You bring this up and we take a look at First Majestic, what you're going to see here is that it has volume, it has all that. Now, that, this is just coming into, in, well, it had a great run, folks. Okay, First Majestic, which just went from, you know, $2.40 to 15 bucks, 1480 Now, that is coming into the supply line that was generated out here from the 011 going all the way over to uh, April of 2013. Now, there's quite a few of them that are coming into the downdraft there. Now, it's coming into that with much higher volume, you know, and we'll see whether it can get up and over those levels. You know, so that's the divergence that, that we have out here, you know. So we'll see where this uh, thing's going to shake out. You know, my take is that, um, here, let me show you the, X, the, the ABC structures are beautiful. So, you know, it, it's, this, this is going to be a patience deal. That's how... I suspect what's going to shake out here. Um, when you take a look at the XAU, the HUI, they're very large ABC structures on the way up. And they have the volume, they have the price, they have all of the above. That's the great part about it. The other, the, that'll be the bullish part. The bearish part is that they both are coming into the downdraft. It's the same where um, First Majestic is coming into. And that's the downdraft that started in. Um, April of 2013, and that's where the XAU went from $135 down to 98 and right now at 102 That's pretty heavy right there. There was heavy volume. Was, it was all of the above. In fact, we put this up, um, you know, 
we're running into that area and we're running into it with better volume so should be able to take it out but that's the area that we're at so um it's all of the above uh you stay right there folks we'll be coming right back dow industrials right now up by 28 nasdaq is up 20 s p is uh, up uh four and a half we're gonna be right back Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under trading newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. And folks, don't forget, at TFNN, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we, do, uh, ten, uh, we, go, we start live programming at 8 o'clock in the morning. We go to six, 5 in the afternoon, 8 to 5, live programming. We replay all that programming. Tuesday, Thursday, we go from 7 o'clock in the morning to 6 in the afternoon. Now, all that programming, you can get right on your cell phone, tfnn.com. You put that in your browser, you hit Tiger TV. When you hit Tiger TV, if you've never checked it out, it's awesome. It's HD TV quality, HD audio quality. It's phenomenal. If you're in your car, don't be watching Tiger. You don't watch Tiger TV. You can put it on. Just put, you know, bottom line, listen to the voice. Um, if you do happen to like TFNN, please tell three people. We really appreciate um, all the help you've given us throughout the years out here, and we really do appreciate that. Market-wise, out here, what you can expect is this: you, we went from the highs to the lows. We go back to the highs. You have dramatically lighter volume. You get this is this was the perfect setup, folks. Meaning when the market went down versus when it went up, 
You get on the Brexit vote, high volume, all of the above. You're coming into window dressing, that's what we had here last couple of days, July 4th weekend, likes to always be a bullish occurrence, it's a beautiful thing. Guess what? Tuesday is going to be an extension of the July 4th weekend, so I expect what you're going to have on Tuesday is going to get a sideways move. You will start getting some more action Wednesday, Thursday, more than likely the following week, that's when you're going to get some real action going in the marketplace. And that action that I expect is going to be, first off, down to the swing point that was established out here on the 27th of June. The larger issue are the swing points that are still hanging out here, folks, from January as well as February. Those swing points, which are dramatically lower than where we are right now, that is where I suspect the market's going to go before you get to higher price. Um, the, on the cash S&P, the numbers we're talking about, we're 2102 right now. The low that was established out here on the 27th of June is 1991. The lows that I expect we're going to be going after in the next six, seven weeks are 1876 to 1812. Those numbers out there, yeah, they're a long way down. But guess what? We'll find out if, in fact, we go there, how we go there, and all of the above. Uh, we go over and we take a look at the uh, DAX in Germany, what you're going to see in the DAX in Germany. Uh, bottom line, you get a counter trend bounce in the DAX in Germany, light volume, all of the above. Uh, the FTSE has been, no doubt, the most deviant. Uh, that is one beautiful move. Top side took out the highs, all of the above. And what that has to do with, of course, that has to do with the pound getting devaluated um, and stocks on sale. Uh, when you talk about on sale, the valuation, uh, whether it's 12, 13, 12 to about, 12 to about 13 percent, lighter um, and lighter, I mean, uh, uh, less expensive because the pound has gone down that dramatically. That's, that's how that whole baby uh, is set up. Uh, the dollar index, dollar index, I, I can't even figure out why it wants higher price, but right now the dollar looks to me like it wants to run up into that uh, 80, uh, 97 number. That's, that's how this thing seems to be shaking out right now. And the 97 number that we're talking about, uh, 98.50 actually, was the high that was generated out here on March 10th, as well as the high that was generated out here on the 3rd of February. Now the 3rd of February, that's where it failed, went all the way down. Try to get up there again on March, failed again. And the reason I'm saying this, uh, that it, the dollar has rejected lower price uh, all week. I did it again today, did it with light of all. I was like, okay, man, you want to make some kind of a run. And that correlation will have to uh, see the bonds pull back. That's, that's that correlation. Um, what you can expect out here, though, is that the volatility to continue and to continue in spades. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it. Take ownership of it. Fly with it. Have a great fort. Safe fort. No drinking, no driving. Take Uber. Give your keys to someone. Have a great one. Look forward to speaking right back here next week, folks. Wow! Go get them, folks. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is TFNN.